here and welcome back to my channel. I kind of wanted to do something different for today's video. So basically, well, first things first, if you couldn't tell, I'm in Ibiza. I'm currently in a hotel room waiting for Sophie, who's been one of my best friends for a very long time. We basically haven't seen each other in probably about a year and we both have been working extremely hard and decided we deserved a gal's trip. So I kind of wanted to film this as if it was like a vlogging as if you're all my close friends and kind of just show you the behind the scenes and stuff that I wouldn't really show in vlogs up to a certain extent because I think this trip is going to be really fun and obviously Sophie is hilarious she's going to be so fun and I think that this would just be the perfect video for this weekend so first things first I will do a hotel room tour because we actually ended up getting upgraded this hotel is incredible it's got two pools the room's amazing i'm just going to show you so as you walk in this is what you see the first thing to the left is a little kitchenette which i feel will be actually really useful and then panning around as you saw we've got a little island and then we have our own little lounge area with a tv comfy sofas all of the above but i feel like one of the best parts of this room is when you draw the curtains open you see that we've got a balcony with the most amazing view we've got the ocean we've got one of the pools it's just so beautiful and i can totally envision us having prees out here or coffee in the morning it's just gonna be so fun. And then lastly, as you come back through opposite the kitchenette is the bedroom. We've got a little sort of open bathroom situation going on, which should be fine because I believe the shower is in this room, which is actually amazing. It looks so unreal. And then in this one is the little kind of toilet room. So obviously Sophie and I got different flights and mine arrived first. So while I wait for her to come, I'm gonna take off this hobo airport outfit, pop on a bikini and go explore this hotel because it's so big and gorgeous so like I said there are two pools the one that you can see from our hotel room and then one on the rooftop with a gorgeous view of the ocean and surrounding buildings it's literally just magical and apparently the sunsets there are amazing to be honest I can't wait to spend the next few days just catching up with my best friend spending our days drinking and gossiping and just fully relaxing and living a high life in Ibiza Okay, so Sophie arrived a little while ago. We did a quick grocery shop, stocked up on some basics as well as some drinks, and now we're gonna head up to the rooftop and pour ourselves a couple of drinks to start off the evening. <laughs> so cute. about last night is that we can't really remember what we did <laughs> no I've been terrible at filming we've just been spending loads of time chatting shit yeah. and not filming any of it yeah we've just been yeah but today's gonna be about. more productive so we had a lovely dinner last night and then decided not to go out out on a Thursday night even though we were drunk enough to so we came back and we had an early night yeah Actually, what time did we sleep? I went to sleep at about half midnight and you were probably out half night before that. <laughs> I literally got into bed and fell asleep with my phone like on my face. Yeah, no, her phone was like hanging off, like she was on the edge of the bed and I noticed she was asleep because you just stopped talking in <laughs> sentence. So I was like, uh, like in the middle of a conversation. And I was like, Do you want to charge your phone? But you were did like, you? you were out. <laughs> And I couldn't see your charger, I didn't know what it looked like, so I was just like, she'll figure it out. So, at least we've got a good night's sleep. We had a lion. We did. We've had a nice morning. We had coffee on the balcony. We had, oh my god. It and was cheese bagels after a bit of the hob. Yeah, couldn't figure out how to turn on the hob. Uh. <laughs> Which is just embarrassing. Yeah, we even called the maintenance guy. And I don't really think he spoke English. Because yeah, when we were, we like, were it's explaining... Okay. He was like, so what do you need? I was like, it's fine. No idea. Anyway, so today we're going to go into Old Town Ibiza. Yep. And we're going to have a nice lunch and walk around, get some pictures. Mm -hmm. And then spend our afternoon at a beach reading our books in the sun. It's going to be a dream. It is going to be a dream. I'm so excited. And then pizza tonight. 
Mm -hmm. Can't wait. And then actually go out. A, a nice Ibethan, if that's a word, Friday night. We should have got lime instead of lemon, then we could have got tequila shots and brought our... Oh, I'll vomit. <laughs> I, I like tequila shots. I used to. And then I went to Mexico. We did um, Coco Bongo, which was like, it's like a cabaret and a sh like a massive show. Yeah. And they, they brought loads of girls up on the stage. And because I was at the front dancing provocatively, they brought <laughs> me up. And they just kept us giving us tequila shots, like oh, one after no. the other, until I was like, I don't think I can move anymore. So you've had a bad but experience. I just continued because they were free. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. And now I'm like, the smell of... And then like two days after that, I tested positive for COVID. So now oh, I'm yeah. like a little bit scarred with tequila. But I could do a couple. That's <laughs> such a good song. If they were like that, perfect. Oh, I know, I know, I feel it. Mine are literally like by my elbows. I know. What's going on? Yeah, like my waist is here. It's like yeah. they're basically at my waist what, now. What is that ridiculous. about? Did I tell you about my old drama teacher whose boobs? <laughs> her boobs would come down to here and she'd just rest her arms on them. Me. Like an armrest. Me as well. When I sit down <laughs> at my desk. there on her feet. At work, when I sit down at my desk, I'm like. <sighs> yeah. On my desk. Just keep, yeah. Because it's just. That, that's <laughs> extra support. That's extra yeah, support that we just need. We need. Base is done. Look, you're so fast. How are you so fast? I've just done my base. This is why it's because I don't put foundation on. Waking up and no. Wasting time is all I do. But now when I'm with you, so much time, nothing to do. I'm dropping, I'm dropping. Saturday, it's actually our last day in Ibiza, which I'm kind of sad about because it's been so nice. Really, just the epitome of relaxing, taking our time, exploring, catching up, and obviously enjoying a few cocktails. So, yesterday we didn't end up going to the beach, we ended up going into Old Town, doing a bit of shopping and exploring, and then had probably one of the nicest dinners I've ever had. We had this delicious pizza and then we did a little bit of kind of like cocktail bar hopping and it was really fun. I think we are here a little bit too early in terms of party season. I think that actually starts like late April, early May. So there weren't really any kind of like beach clubs or any of those kinds of things open. So it was really just sticking to bars and they were all playing really loud, like fun music. So it ended up being a really nice night. We pretty much stayed out until I think at least three o'clock. And then, as you saw, I think I ended up filming a little bit of it. We came back and we decided to just play our own music and have a little party in our room because we were disappointed at the lack of Taylor Swift. So we had a little boogie here. Probably went to bed at about five o'clock in the morning, which was very impressive for me. I don't think I've actually done that in a couple of years. And it was such a fun night. It was exactly what we needed. And now it's about 12 p.m. We've had a lion. We're gonna chill by the pool for a bit and then take advantage of the afternoon and go to the beach because you can't go to Ibiza without going to the beach, obviously. So hopefully we'll find somewhere nice for lunch as well because I'm getting pretty hungry and pretty much just play it by ear, enjoy our last day. And then this evening we're gonna have like a little cozy night in, we're gonna cook pasta together, play some music, maybe have just like a couple of cocktails rather than the number that we had yesterday. <laughs> um, and really just enjoy our last night together because my flight is pretty early in the morning tomorrow so I didn't really wanna go out tonight again because that's just a recipe for disaster. So I think a cozy night in is gonna be really nice. I'm hoping the weather picks up a bit so we get a good sunset today. That'd be really, really nice. But I've been thoroughly impressed with the weather. It's been sunny and like the tiniest bit windy, which is why I'm glad I brought a jumper. 
but I'm very happy. I feel like I'm thriving. I needed some sun. It's just been so rainy and depressing in Wales and I just needed a break and this has been exactly what I needed and catching up with Sophie has just been lovely. It's just literally been a dream and we're both just unbelievably happy. It's really nice. So that's pretty much the update for now. I'm gonna get ready and maybe attempt to get in the pool. It's absolutely freezing but I really want to do it at least once, take advantage of the pools that we have here, so we'll see how that goes and yeah, I'll take you along with me for the rest of the day.